Again, Amber Heard is making a mess in Hollywood, but this time it's not because of Johnny Depp. It's been said that her new movie Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom didn't do well at the box office. What's interesting is that there was a lot of drama going on behind the scenes. What did she do next? Who does she say is guilty? Get ready, because we're about to reveal the secret plan she had in her head. Aquaman 2 came out last Christmas, but it did very poorly at the box office. The first three days of sales brought in only $27, six cents million dollars, so it didn't get much press. The only other DC movie to open with less than $25 million was Blue Beetle. But why did the superhero that fans love fail so badly? It did happen because of Amber Heard. Fans screamed and fired her after she lost her fight with Johnny Depp. Almost 5 million people signed a petition asking the makers of Aquaman to take Amber out of the role of Mera. That's kind of fair, since Depp was fired by Disney after Amber first accused him of domestic abuse. People on social media noticed that Mara showed up for about two seconds near the end of the Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom video that came out in September. Amber was really let down. She came forward and said that Warner Bros. cut her parts out of the movie so much that she only had 10 minutes of footage. Mira gives Aquaman a speech to inspire him before he goes on a mission with his brother and they cut that scene. This made her very angry. As things were happening, director James Wan jumped into the scene and said that fans could never ask DC to take out a certain character from a movie. Each figure is important in its own way. Amber's role isn't very important in Aquaman 2 because the movie is mostly about Aquaman and his brother Orm's relationship. Fans were still hoping that Mera's scenes would be taken out totally. The second video, which came out in November, didn't show her at all. On top of that, she wasn't on the original movie poster. It made fans feel better to know that Warner Brothers heard them. The production house, on the other hand, had other ideas. After hearing that Amber had only 11 lines, grunts, and a laugh in the movie, fans chose not to see it when it came out at the end of December. DC's plan didn't work out as planned. Because of Amber's problem, they wanted to sell the movie to the public, but they didn't spend any money on marketing. But what do you know? The movie did not do well at the box office. Almost no one went to see it. It's shocking that people left the test showing of the movie. It proves how bad it was. Since everyone was looking at Amber, it looks like the movie wasn't ready to come out. The story, CGI, and edits on the movie were all not very good. The whole movie seems like it was edited on a notebook instead of on a real set with real people. It doesn't feel real. People who saw the movie were confused by changes that weren't needed in some parts. While making this movie, James Wan seemed like he was being held against his will. Warner Brothers needs to understand that all the attention the Amber scandal brought wasn't enough to make the movie a hit. There was a lot going on behind the scenes, so this isn't it. Amber recently said that Jason Momoa, James Wan, and Warner Bros. were making fun of her and cutting her parts on purpose. You deserve this because you didn't listen to your fans. Amber says that Jason used to dress up as Johnny Depp and get drunk on set and poke her. She must have been very stressed because Jason is said to have asked James to take Amber out of the movie. A source says that all of these claims are false and manufactured because Jason was the most professional person on the set. Someone on the set said that Momoa likes a beer every once in a while, just like everyone else, and that the star doesn't show up to work drunk, like Amber said. It was also made clear that Momoa has always dressed in a casual way and is not copying Johnny Depp's style. She also said that the production company was trying to get her out of the movie totally. It sounds like she begged to keep her part in the movie. Amber said this about her case against Johnny Depp. I was given a script and then new versions of the script that took out scenes with action that showed my character and another character. Without giving anything away, two characters fighting with each other. They basically took a bunch out of my role. They just took out a lot. After all of these claims, Walter Hamada, an official at Warner Brothers, said that Amber's part was never cut from the movie. The second part of the movie isn't about Mera and Aquaman's love story. He also talked about how hard it was for the director to make them work together in the first movie. After all this trouble, it was found that Elon Musk may be the reason Amber can play the part again. You heard that right. Someone who spoke to Variety said that Elon had one of his lawyers send a scorched earth letter to the production house, threatening to burn the house down if the actress wasn't brought back for a second movie. They met for the first time in 2016 when Heard got married to Johnny. They say they started dating in 2017, not long after Amber and Johnny split. But Johnny has said that Amber is having an affair with Elon while she is married. 
Everyone knows that Elon doesn't care about Amber or her small part. If it's true, Amber must have put a lot of pressure on Elon to get that part. We don't understand why Amber is so upset about having so little screen time in the movie. We can see that the production house is being hurt by a boycott, so she should be thankful that she was given 10 minutes. In addition, Amber's claims are not true and have no basis in fact. Since it was the only big movie she had ever been in, she thought the studio would give her character more attention. Warner Brothers is thought to be getting what's coming to them because they didn't listen to their fans. When you hire a lie, this is what you get. What has Amber been up to since she lost her case? She was the face of big brands and had parts in some of Hollywood's biggest movies in 2021. It was the best year of her life. On the other hand, she lost everything when her lies came out in court. Due to legal processes, her financial situation got a lot worse. By the summer of 2022, it was clear that her cash situation was bad. She unexpectedly filed for bankruptcy because she couldn't pay the fine the court ordered her to pay in her case against Johnny Depp. In a frantic move, Amber's lawyers told the judge that she would not be able to pay back the debt. After the judge made her ruling, she filed for bankruptcy on July 20 and made an appeal to the Commonwealth of Virginia on July 21, saying she didn't have enough money. Amber had to sell her home to make ends meet because she was having a hard time. Later, TMZ reported that her secret hideaway in Yucca Valley, California, was sold for almost $1, 11 cents million, which is almost twice as much as she paid for it three years before. In 2019, she tried to get her insurance companies to pay Johnny for the damage she caused. Still, this plan didn't work because her old insurance company, New York Marine and General Insurance Company, sued her to get out of paying her legal fees and damages in the slander case. Also, people don't like Amber and are against her everywhere she goes. She couldn't walk down the street without being picked on. People would follow her around. Remember how everyone at the start of the trial backed both Amber and Johnny equally? But when videos of her trial went online, it was clear that she had lied. She lost all of her fans. Amber has been living in Spain with her kid right now. She said that America didn't let her speak freely and that the court's ruling was only based on how well she did with the public. She spent 2 million euros on a house in Spain. Reliable sources say that Amber makes it a point to spend valuable time with her daughter every day. They take long walks, check out parks, and enjoy time with their families. Since she lost the trial, Amber's life, job, social life, home, and money have all been in a lot of trouble. Also, information from her neighbors shows that her once bustling social life is over, with no noticeable visitors. Amber wants to live a quieter life until she gets a new movie role in Hollywood. She lives alone with her child in a large house. It has also been said that Amber has lived there using the fake name Martha Jane Cannery. Well, the name sounds like a reference to 3DC characters. However, this pseudonym is linked to a real Frontiers woman, the Wild West hero Calamity Jane. She hasn't worked in over a year, which is a shame. Production companies don't want to work with her on a new movie after the court case. She might not be able to sign on for a new movie after all the Aquaman claims. She might want to try something that's not being filmed. There were also rumors that she was seeing director Bianca Buddy, who was seen with her in Spain in 2022. But neither of them confirmed that story. What do you guys think? Does Amber deserve everything that's happening? What's different about her that Johnny had to deal with after losing the defamation trial? Say what you think in the space below. We'd love to hear from you. Your thoughts and ideas are very important.